Algy loves the action, this guy. One of the top fraggers of the whole tournament so far. And he's showing us exactly why. May just let Deja Vu bait him out, get him. Oh, sorry, wait for his teammates to try and save him, try and get him, and they take them down as well. Well, Doji, he wants that kill on a Deja Vu, but uh, it's nothing yet quite so far. Hitman has finally managed to get his health back up again to get back into the fight here, but with a final circle coming in. This is a very interesting final circle here because look at there's rocks, there's trees, there's so many places, and look at Ted, still somewhat alive at the edge of the circle. A and B is low, heals up though. So Ted did give him the space to do so. Final boss, ooh, taking damage there from the grenade, I believe, of Ted. He's going to be using his first aid kit for now, up to 75 HP. But Blair, he has no adrenaline to call on to get to 100 HP, which means he will be fairly frugal. He will be frugal. And right now, the thing is, he's in a pretty good spot where he doesn't really have to budge. He can, re he can let the rest of the teams kill themselves while he tries to stay alive, pay for the placement point. So he doesn't, I don't think he's going to be too worried about it. But here we go. Pain Retribution, man, wow. out of nowhere. They won the previous game, and now they're sitting pretty on nine kills for the team. Speaking of teams, none of the eight teams currently alive have all of their players. Indian Tigers on one, 8-Bit on one, Team Iron D on two. Maybe not for long, because Mavi is going to be headshotted there by Encore. Hitman. The skull shrinking in is gonna might have to force his position, but no, it's looking pretty good right now. Indian Tigers is one player remaining as well for them. That's massive Indian Tigers are out. Oh lord, that is just rough indeed. Entity Gaming, if they can get a few more placement points here, they're gonna be in the running to try and solidify their third position and make it to the prelims. And they just have two players. If you look at this, all the teams remaining, there are, there are six teams in the running right now. Four of them have two players alive, and Pain Retribution and LFP have three alive. So this is gonna come down to the wire as we will be going into the final circle of the game. A few seconds here, and look at that circle for Pain Gaming. This is gonna be wonderful for them. Oh, it's perfect for them. Not the best for evil big fellas. Not too bad for Team IND as well towards the south. They're in the compound, but actually they're going to be the furthest away from the circle. So it's favoring Entity Gaming, who might just be the dark horses for top three. Absolutely. This could be the game that could be the game changer, so to speak, for Entity, who have had a long climb all the way from the bottom when they had a rough start yesterday. And looking at the circle here, they still have a few seconds, 20 seconds before the circle start, starts shrinking in. So they, they need to decide what, they, what the plan of action is. They can't keep hugging the circle and running in because they're going to be easy pickings for the teams who have control of the compound. Let's see then. Blue zone coming in six seconds. The action's going to go crazy. Final boss and Cam. Remaining two players. Yep, remaining two players here from Megastars. A and B and Poo towards the top of the hill. But they're once behind cover, once not. Evil big fellas. Ronak being taken down by Dajit. And Poo finds Ronak. Dajit is just an unstoppable monster at this point in time. And look at this, the play zone. There we go. Trance has been taken out from IND. It's all on Daljit, if I'm not very much mistaken here. Oh, another play as well. Trance going to go down to the play zone. Dajit, let's see if he's inside the ring. He's it's right there at the close. bottom. He's right there at the bottom. Oh, it's going to be so close if he's inside the ring. And EDG, Existence knows this. And he's out in the open, is he? No, he's still there at the edge. Oh, this is going to be a big play here from Dajit. Let's see if he can make it happen. Existence is going to be closing the door. Doesn't want to take that risk. There's no need just yet. But Dajit may just have to run in here. Let's see what he can get done. Oh, nothing at all. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's yeah. not bad. I mean, before he was doing those kind of plays. Top so. six, top six. Top six for IND. Top Keck as well for Hitman. <laughs> he's got these players who are going to have to come out of the compound directly into his fire as White goes down for the lane out spray. That? Oh man, he kills him off as well. Hitman's down. Existence is stuck inside the play zone. He's going to die to the zone. And A and B's the sole surviving member and he's going to be spraying down LFP towards Snacks. Oh, yes, he gets the kill. And he's the last surviving member though. And he's out as well. Pain giving him been knocked out. Suddenly only three teams remaining. ETG. Learn, learn from past and mega stars. This is so good for turn, for entity gaming. Two versus one and one. And they have that rock. And they have exactly. They have the rock. They have the foundations. They have the high ground. They have all of the adjectives you want to have an advantage in this situation. But paradox, has he not sniffed out the toes of final boss yet? I don't know. Here's the thing, though. This, if White gets spotted on Paradox gets a kill, it's going to be rough. But then a circle shrinking in and Paradox. I'm not sure if he's taking damage. He's going to crawl in a little bit deeper. They're going to kiss now. They're going to kiss. And there we go. The kiss of death from Paradox. It's a 1v2 and Paradox out in the open. They know exactly where he is. Existence and White now jumping on top of the rocks, trying to get the best mobility they can. Jumps on top of it. Goes for the spray. They know exactly where Paradox is. Both of them now are going to be... Char oh, no. Excuse me. They were looking to get aggressive there. But maybe they're being cool, calm, and collected. Do they have any nades remaining is the question. Doesn't look like it. So... I think they're just going to play out the circle. Let's see what happens. If Paradox, he might have to go for the, the clutch play here. He's got to go a little bit more aggressive. I would love to get 30. Everyone prone here playing a game of who can 
pretend to be a snake the best. And you can see there the, the circle, the final circle. And White and Paradox, they are on a trajectory here. Paradox got a strike first. Uh, uh, he takes out White. It's a 1v1. Existence goes to the spray. And he wins it. Did he win it? I think he I'm won not it. Sure. I think Lurfa passed on no, it. Did he clutch it out? He clutched it. The 1v2. Another 1v2. Oh, MC Gaming. Oh, hit. they are crushed. They are crushed. But then again, second position, they can.